Right now, we are approaching arguably the most celebrated amateur golfer in the history of American golf. <laughs> Jay Siegel, before he turned professional at the age of 50, had already won five USGA championships. The British Amateur Open had nine Walker Cup appearances and 11 trips to the Masters. This guy had done it all and he did all that while having a successful business and raising a family. What a resume. And he's decided to give back. And coming up very soon, the 29th Jay Sigel Invitational, which gives, and as I understand it, for cancer research, for both prostate cancer and breast cancer, Jay Sigel, we are so happy to have you on the Delaware Cadillac Show. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Caitlin. Uh, nice to be here. So folks would ask, ask me how, how the, all of this got started. And quite frankly, uh, Ronamick was so kind to honor me by uh, having a golf tournament. So in order for it to be significant, I thought we should bring in the community and raise funds for cancer. My uh, dad actually passed away from cancer. That's how that got started. So uh, I had a lot of good fortune in my golf career, as you said, Harry, and, and really I had to pay it all forward. And uh, my good fortune, my luck, escaping injuries, so on, were, were significant reasons to, to uh, get behind this. Folks ask, why prostate cancer? And I'll tell you specifically, women do such a much better job uh, getting the word out. Men don't, didn't even know 20, 25, 30 years ago what a PSA test was. And no idea what the scoring meant and so on and so forth. So we, we got the word out and uh, recently in the last six, eight years, we've added breast cancer research to our, to our uh, bailiwick. So we have many wonderful researchers. One in particular, Mark Green, has written a paper about the antibody that he has developed to beat cancer, uh, prostate cancer, certain forms of it. And um, we're thrilled with that. They recognize the Jay Sigel Invitational as the funds for, for his uh, success. The funding uh, of all of this is very, very critical. These researchers, in order to get to the next level, they have to have funding, early funding, uh, before NIH steps in or before uh, Big Pharma, and that is, is, is what we're doing. The interesting thing is that Abramson Family Cancer Research Institute, the specific uh, research arm for us is uh, just in recent months, it's developed 13 FDA-approved drugs. That's unheard of, unheard of, uh, so I understand. So it's a team effort. I have to thank everybody, and in particular, Auto Team Delaware, Mike and Marilyn Uffner, who have been involved for a long time sponsoring uh, part of our event. They have a wonderful hole-in-one contest that's a huge, huge uh, success although we need to have someone have a hole in one. Uh, so that's, that's where we are there. And, and um, I just say thank you. It's, a, it's just a big thank you. And uh, recognizing that we developed, we've raised four million over the 28 years. We'll probably be close to four and a half million uh, after this year. So that's on a net basis. So thank you very much, Harry. Thank you, Caitlin. Well. Jay Siegel and I were talking, and from what I understand, uh, Mike Uffner, uh, Mike and Marilyn Uffner, who own Auto Team Delaware, Delaware Cadillac, Mike actually was a junior golfer with Jay. Yes. <laughs> Just a few years ago. Just a few years ago. And by the way, he beat me the other day at Pine Valley. Oh, and, and we got that on camera for you, Mike. Yes, you do. Yeah. Let, let me just say this, Jay, and uh, you know, it's nice because yes, Auto Team Delaware, Delaware Cadillac, they do give back to the community, and, and one of the ways is by helping, you know, with golf sponsorships, hole-in-ones, and things like that, and it's great that we've partnered with you. But I just think it's truly amazing when you take an individual like yourself that has raised his own family, 
been married over 53 years. I understand that golf is one of the ways your wife gets rid of you for a yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, but but the, to have that illustrious career, business, golf, and for whatever reason, he makes a decision like you did to get involved and to give back for cancer research. So I appreciate you, Jay. Yes. And I appreciate getting to see you in action, <laughs> driving a few balls down the fairway here at the Fieldstone Country Club, who was uh, nice enough to have us here. And, and I just want to say to all of you, it's nice, you know, look at a guy like Jay and, you know, think about what you do in your life and any way that you can maybe choose. Maybe you're not a professional golfer to put your name on, but there's a way that you can give back to. You're an inspiration, Jay. Thank you. And I appreciate your time and, 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 and doing this with us today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.